Hello, beautiful souls. This is Masami. I hope you're doing well. This is for the harvest moon on September 10th. This is an intriguing and significant full moon. And I am very excited to talk about this because many planets are retrograding during this full moon, including Mercury, as you know. I've done a video on that, so I will connect the link below here, okay? But it's going to impact the full moon as well, but in a very, very gentle way. And that's because the retrograde is going to, and all these retrogrades are going to slow things down, and even though the full moon is going to illuminate brightly, it's going to have a little bit more of a gentler approach, maybe reflections that you can do a little bit slowly and something internally that, that you can do a little bit more. So think of this full moon as less of a heavy flooding kind of a rain or hurricane, but more of a gentle rain and a quiet breeze so that the, you can reflect, come back to yourself, but in a way that will kind of cocoon you and hold you. And it's super subtle in a way, some of the things I'm going to talk about. So don't miss this full moon because it's a little easier to miss this full moon with maybe chaos and busyness of your life. So make sure to set aside some time during this weekend and maybe even a couple of days before and in a couple of days after the full moon to reflect back on what I will be sharing with you. The full moon is known, as many of you know, to illuminate many things in our lives, but including the world's maybe beauty and the wholeness and the oneness as well, right? But it also, this particular full moon has the ability to gently, but mm, I would say it's gentle, but there's a little bit of a sharpness with its light to shine directly at what you need to be looking at on the world scale and the personal scale. So this one is going to definitely illuminate the duality and deceit and violations and volatilities and secrets of the world. And this full moon is going to show you where you have these as well. And I think that's a little bit different about this full moon from the previous full moons that we've had this year. And we've had so many super moons and a lot of the full moons been pretty intense. And like I said, this full moon has a little bit of a subtle and gentle feminine energy with it. But it is definitely, if you allow this full moon to guide you, will illuminate the areas that you may need to be looking at. And this full moon is going to ask us to reevaluate our lives personally. If it's necessary for you to change the course, it is going to gently shine that on you so that the, you can say, oh yeah, I've been forgetting about this. Oh yes, I've been ignoring about this. And it will show you those things. Okay. So think of it as like an internal, inward illuminating full moon. And this one is going to show you things that, that you've been choosing not to see, the things that you need to be attending to, but you're choosing to ignore. And things like the deceptions and lies that, that you're getting caught in, or where you are maybe exploiting yourself. You know, words like expo exploiting and cheating sounds really strong, but I think that, that there are times. If you look deeply into yourself, you're like, wow, I was not being honest with myself there. And I exploited my own reserves of my energy and it, I expended much more than I needed to, you know, things like that. So this is a wonderful full moon that would gently ask you to do a little bit of a self-search and getting to know yourself and your own duality, things that you tend to label good or bad, you know, this is black and white, this is up and this is down, that kind of thing. And also violations. You know, what are you violating within yourself? Now, maybe perhaps, you know, you are violating your own integrity, promises that you made, goals that you set aside for yourself, but, 
you just said, oh, I can just put myself last or, oh, I can get to that a little later after I help everybody else. I've had multiple clients that I worked with so far already this week that have been telling me that they have not put themselves first and it's taking a toll on them. So think about the commitments you've made this year for yourself, especially since February and go back and check in with yourself again on that. And in some of the things that the, I talked about on the Mercury Retrograde video that it's worth repeating here is what comfort are you chasing? And in that video, I said, you want to become comfortable with discomfort, with the uncomfortable. So hopefully many of you can go back to the Mercury Retrograde video I did. Like I said, I'll put the link below and you can check that out. And this full moon is going to illuminate the light on the areas where you are hypercritical of yourself, perhaps hyper-focused on your faults or perfectionism. And that's perfect that I stumbled on that word because, you know, making these videos um, requires a lot of my time and energy and I write it up or... I tune into myself. I do a lot of internal meditative work so that I can share these with you. And as many of you know, English is my second language. My first language is Japanese. And those two languages are nowhere near close to each other. So speaking in English and making videos can be really difficult for me. And if my perfectionist, perfectionism slips in, I can actually get really nervous and say, you know, I don't want to put any more videos up. And I've had those days, but I think I come back to speaking with the moon, her energy, and she always says to me, don't get too caught up in it. You know, you're doing the best you can, and that's what you need to be focusing on. So this full moon is going to illuminate light on the areas that you're becoming a little too hard on yourself. And the, there's a danger to perfectionism that the, we all have heard about, right? And because perfectionism can create unrealistic expectations and that can feed you to procrastinate and never put yourself out there or a tendency to seek out other people's approvals and validations and, and un, unrealistic maybe desires that comes from even how you look to your financial health to maybe relationships it can become very unrealistic if you chase this perfectionism and so i think this moon and not not just i think i i know this to be true because the moon is telling me to use that word instead is that these unrealistic desires and standards are just pulling your prana, your life force away from you. So please come back to shining in this moment. Get back into this reality that exists in this moment, in this moment only. Now is the most important time. And I think, not I think, I know that that is what the full moon is wanting me to talk about today with you. Okay. So, um, I think perfection and perfectionism can be a great topic that we can go into a little bit more at some point, but remember that the perfection is an impossible goal and then creates many, many difficulties, toxic thinking and toxic comparisons and stagnations and lack of flow. And that lack of flow is going to impact your imaginations, lack of that and lack of creativity, which these are the topics that I've actually mentioned some in the Mercury Retrograde video, so you can reference back there too. And the next thing that I wanted to talk about with this full moon, this beautiful, gentle, but important full moon, is that the, this is a harvesting moon, right? So I was talking to the moon and she said, what about talk about good enough for harvesting idea. It's good enough. The fruit has ripened enough so that the, you can let the fruit 
continue to ripen on the counter. You know, maybe a basket, beautiful bowl. Instead of waiting for that peach or the, you know, maybe different fruits to ripen 100%, you can harvest this at 80. And this is a rule that I learned in Japan growing up. It's called harahachibunme. The Japanese word is harahachibunme. It means 80-20 rule, but be full and experience fullness and know that the, you're already whole at 80%, not 100%, but 80%. And leave that 20% space. In the Japanese language and in the, the way that I grew up is that spaciousness is very important. So to leave that 20% for wiggle room, for the breeze to come through, for these intuitions to come through. If you're 100% full and you're 100% ripened, right? Then there's not a lot that you can improve or move or, you know, there's just not a whole lot you can do with that. But when you can harvest it at 80%, there's so much more that can happen after that as well. So see if you could start to experience this good enough and celebrate the good enough. And the good enough means I am full. I am content. Because if you ate till you're 100% full, you are going to feel pretty awful, weren't we? Right? We've all experienced that too much food. I've been through buffet lines that I ate probably over 100% of my capacities. But if you can finish it at 80%, there's a sense of, yeah, this is great. I'm digesting. I enjoyed it. It was satiating. So that's what this full moon is asking us to do. Harvest it when it's good enough. Okay. You are more than good enough. And we all can always improve. But I think when we put that kind of pressure that the, we have to always achieve the 100%, many of us would just be losing our prana by the end of it all, okay? So let's go into the beauty of the magic of good enough, okay? And um, it's a magical time, really is. Full moon is always magical. And all across the world, we all celebrate full moon. Every country has different ways of celebrating, but this harvesting moon is really similar in many ways because we're all kind of looking at the fields as at least in the Northern hemisphere, we're looking at things that you can go to the fields and collect for all the hard work you put into, all the things that the, you did along with the weather and the nature and the seasonal changes, you get to go harvest. So this is a beautiful time. This particular full moon is for you to fall in love with yourself again. That's what this full moon is. Fall in love with yourself of that good enough self, the 80% full. And that is to know that that is enough, to know that, that you are already enough. That's what this moon is illuminating in you. And at least for this weekend and for maybe two days before the full moon and a couple days, two, three days after the full moon, please take a little bit of break from doing so much shadow work or maybe more learning, more consumptions, because this full moon in particular is asking us to harvest and know that the, you're good enough and there's you are falling in love with yourself again. And this is the chance for you to sit back and say, I rest in this fullness that is enoughness. Okay. Come back to that enoughness. I think it's going to give you so much more satisfaction knowing that you are already here. And that's what the moon is saying. You're already here. The only thing like I said early on, the, this full moon is asking you to do is to look at some of the areas that you're being harsh on yourself. Look at the areas that, that you are creating dualities inside you. Look at the areas that the, you are holding on to something that is keeping you from witnessing that the, you are already full and that the, you're already enough. Okay, 
So shine the light on what matters and what uplifts you, what elevates you, but also allow the light to be shown. That light will show you what areas of your life that the, you need to relax into it a little bit more, become loving towards more, and then notice what areas you're chasing comfort and what areas you are creating dualities. Okay. So don't miss this gentle, gentle nudge from this full moon to harvest the enoughness, the ripeness okay, of who you are, 80% that is already here, that is already shown to you, that's already fulfilled and it's ready to be harvested. Witness that, notice that, and take action towards that. Okay. So thank you so much. Enjoy the beauty of who you are, falling in love with yourself again, and then soak in that enoughness that, that it's already here for you. Thank you, everyone. Happy full moon. Namaste.